You are listening to Lighthearted, the official podcast of the United States Lighthouse Society. My name is Jeremy Dontremont. This is the third and final of three editions of Lighthearted we're releasing this week for Cape Cod Week. And my co-host again today is Michelle Jewell Shaw. And we are coming to you again from the semi-luxurious Study Room 3 of the Portsmouth Public Library here on the New Hampshire seacoast. Hi, Michelle. I'm hoping you have another fun fact about Cape Cod to share. Hello, Jeremy. I most certainly do. Provincetown, at the tip of Cape Cod, is where the Pilgrims first landed before they move on to Plymouth. It's also home to three lighthouses, and Provincetown is also home to the tallest all-granite structure in the country, the Pilgrim Monument. The monument was built from August 1907 to August 1910. It's 252 feet tall, and it's open for climbing. It's next to the Provincetown Museum, which highlights the town's rich maritime history. Have you climbed the Pilgrim Monument? I have not. I have seen it, but I have not climbed to the top of it. Well, you should. (laughs) I will next time I'm there. Okay, I've climbed it. It's an amazing view. You can see Provincetown's three lighthouses from the top. Long Point, Wood End, and Race Point, uh, which is right at the tip of the Cape. Our guest today is the chairman of the Cape Cod chapter, the American Lighthouse Foundation, which takes care of those three lighthouses in Provincetown. And today we'll mostly talk about Race Point Light Station. Race Point's name comes from the strong cross current known as...